Very few artists have achieved 10 years of countdown hits. Queen were leaders in the video age with a mini epic that accompanied their countdown number one, Bohemian Rhapsody. Galileo, 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 Galileo Loves me. Through the 70s, Queen held the throne with songs like We Will Rock You. And in 1980, they hit number one again and had the third biggest song of the year. Shot busting into 84, Queen break free once more. Got no. The number the number the number one record the number one record Elton John's long and happy relationship with Countdown and Molly is still standing the number one record While Elton kisses his bride down under, Countdown Decade chartbuster Rod Stewart is pretty free with his kisses. This is what I do, you know, if I'm not singing, I go around blessing babies and healing the, healing the blind. Any babies want blessing? Rod hits number one late in 78 when the lad was a little unsure of himself. Do you think I'm sexy? It was stolen from something. He went to Rio to get it to the carnival. Right. And the main thing that he bought a record in Rio, which was Ole Ole. Uh, no, that's the World Cup one, which he also stole. Uh, <laughs> it's da 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 Not many people know it, but I have the record. It's by a guy called Jorge Ben. Young Turks peaks at number three on the countdown chart in early 82. As Rod and Molly stroll into the LA sunset, Countdown salutes our 10-year chart busters.